Welcome to boating season. Episode three. No, season three. Welcome, welcome to Coast Life season three. All right, so you may have been wondering what we've been up to all this time. Well, last year we packed up the boat and got things ready for the winter, and then we had a nice long winter where we worked and we worked and we worked and we worked. I worked mostly as a mechanic all winter. Fixing cars is something I've been doing for a very long time. But something I've been working on more recently is tattooing. I've been doing it for about two years now, and if you want to check out my work, you can look me up on Instagram. Katie kept herself busy with a new career, voiceover acting. She's off to a great start, working for companies like Capital One, Yahoo.com, and Ferrera Rocher. We also took a family trip to Cuba. It was a lot of fun. There was a reef right off the beach, so it kind of felt like we were swimming with the crew of SV Delos. We went on a joyride on a hobby cat, and I swear we hit 12 knots. And we also went into Matanzas to visit our friend William. It was really nice to spend the time with him and his family. In no time a week flies by, but it was a well-needed break from winter. So it's boating season, we got lots of projects on the go. Number one project, uh, what we can do at home, is uh, build a dinghy. So I just gotta fix these imperfections in the mold and then we'll be good to start on this. We're gonna be using some uh, resin. We got gel coat. We got acetone. And we got hardener. We also have mold release and um, silica. Oop, there it is. Oh, um, we're gonna have to grind out some of it, but let's try not to put too much in there. All right, so uh, today is the start of the day. We're going to start uh, putting some gel coat on this, but before I do, uh, I have to put a mold release compound. Oh, that's heavy. I think the PVA uh, will help uh, release better than the, 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 the wax will. So the cool thing about PVA, I guess, is that it's uh, water soluble. So you spray it on, it kind of turns a little rubbery, and it'll literally peel out like a film later. And uh, yeah, it, it washes, it dilutes with water, so it's easy to clean up. And I'm pretty sure it's going to cause a lot less issues, and it's a lot easier than waxing. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this decision, I think. We'll see later. Later, later. All right, so now it's time to mix up some gel coat and uh, put a paint a coat or two on. Break time. Let that set up. <coughs> Coat. And uh, here we have it. It's cured. I guess we'll call it cured. It's been about an hour. I watched some sailing emerald steel and some other things. So we got one coat. We're definitely going to need another. So this is the, going to be the uh, first layer of the. The dinghy, the dinghy project, it's on the go. So I just wanted to take a moment to say thanks to Andy from Boatworks Today. If you haven't watched Boatworks Today, it's on YouTube and this is how I learned everything I know about fiberglass. Andy was also nice enough to respond to an email with a few questions that I had earlier on in the month. Thanks Andy, you're awesome. Like 
Oh, hi there. Here we are at the boat, <laughs> getting it ready for springtime. And, ah, oh, I'm getting trapped in this area. I tried to get in, but I can't fit. It's very difficult. Sometimes I get stuck and Katie has to drag me out by the arse. Yeah. So. I asked if we, he could hang on another minute while I got the camera, but he couldn't. <laughs> no. Uh. She's in! <laughs> she fits better than I do. Righty tighty lefty loosey, right? <laughs> Look at the way I'm sitting with my leg. <laughs> I know. Down I go. Bye bye. <laughs> you want me to close the hatch? Oh gosh, no. Oh, that looks better. Let's scrub the walls and things and take out the other stuff. I don't know if we want to do all that or... So, we're out on the boat fixing it up. Uh, we're tidying it up. There's not a lot of big jobs to do, but there's a lot of big jobs we could do if we wanted to. Uh, we got to put new anodes on and uh, we got to put a cutlass parry on. And those are the only major things that we have to, have to have to do. The rest of the stuff is kind of like, it'll the boat will be as good as it was last year, but we certainly have some things to think about because we're planning to spend. Yeah, we gotta fix the stove and put the refrigeration in that was given to us. For that, for the comforts of home. And... A Dodger would be great. Oh yeah. A Dodger would be great. 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 We may be doing a Dodger. Building one. But I think a lot of that's going to happen on the water after we get it in. Um, so, yeah, uh, we've got dinghy project and boat launching project for now. Well, we're making a full on mess here. Alright, so we're back again. Uh, dinghy project continues. Uh, we got two layers of gel coat and one layer of chop strand. Um, so I got my coveralls on today just to uh, save some clothing. So uh, one of the things I want to talk about is why I'm doing this project. Um, it probably would make sense just to go buy a used rib, right? Like. Ultimately, yeah, probably. It would be a lot easier. Uh, am I going to save money from buying a new or used rib? Uh, probably. Um, but even if I don't save money from buying a used rib, the idea of this project is more than just to be a cheapskate. It's, I don't know, sort of a fun project. Uh, it gets me used to working with fiberglass. It gets me used to patching dinghies uh, and repairing dinghies. and kind of gives me the insides and outs of a lot of stuff on a small scale, so it just seems like a fun thing to do. It's a dinghy that gets us from the shore back and forth, and it's not like it's a life raft or anything. We, uh, we're not crossing any oceans, um, if we are, we'll get a life raft. Welcome to boating season, season three, we'll say.